Welcome, I'm Void Dude, and before we begin, just look at this Oscar Award nominatable cinematography. Hey! It's like, look out Christopher Nolan, am I right my handsome viewers? This epic alien franchise inspired behemoth of a salvage vessel is the Aegis Reclaimer, and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call this one the One Box Wonder. The skeleton crew consists of myself and known space waste enthusiast It's Not Fair, and our goal is to inflate our fake space money bank accounts with glorious credits from salvaging the hulls of wrecks from these ship graveyards that exist at the Lagrange points of the Stanton system now for some reason. LA Grange Point is a specific spot in space where the gravitational force. Silence, ChatGPT, this is not why people come to my channel. This is my first time performing the dirty act of salvaging on the One Box Wonder, and so known educator It's Not Fair has been providing me with a quick crash course on how it all works, because God forbid anything in our ludicrous space game gets designed with a simple user experience in mind. Holy sh. That's going fast. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Dude, that's really like one SCU. Then be done. Yeah, I guess being quick. Holy c dude, done. What? Put a station then... obst obstructed. What must I do? Uh, oh, so it's full full already. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on, I'll get down there and I'll unlock for you. Cool, so somebody has to move the sh off out of those, out of the way. Yeah. Okay, right, cool. left side is clearing now. Man, this is so cool, the light and everything. Dude, the fidelity, man! The fidelity! As we literally suck up recycled material composite from the hull of this direct C2 Hercules, allow me to provide you with a bit of context. The Bobs at Cloud Imperium Games have been busy building and releasing new versions of Star Citizen 3.18 to the patch test universe on a near daily basis, and this is the first build that's been released to a second wave of eager alpha testicular Star Citizen. Citizens. Because of this, I had pretty much given up on making sure I had a reliable store of gear, guns, and ammo, as preparing and shopping over and over again after each build's release had numbed my brain to the point where the thought of doing it one more time placed me in a maze induced coma, and not the good kind. Let this be a lesson to the future generations of Star Citizen enjoyers out there to always come prepared, even if you're just taking on the role of space environmentalist cleanup crew. This is one of the dirtiest make range points in the entire verse. Science fiction Greta Thunberger would be so proud. Voided, what the f did you just say? I don't know, random viewer. Apparently, that's how you pronounce that name. Pronounce. Greta Thunberger. After some time, we had amassed a reasonable haul of maze, I mean space waste, and then Murphy's Law decided to kick us in our tender space balls. Which is a good thing because what a great opportunity this will surely become for prime YouTube Star Citizen content. Uh, I see a ship. Why? Um, dude, he's quantum interdicting. Oh, okay. Is it a NPC? Mantis Alexandru Kovalesh. No, yeah. I think he's a player. Get onto the main turret. I'll get onto one of the. On my way up the ladder. Yep, that's a player. And there's Cornholio. There's two guys here. Yeah. Am I, am I blasting him? Blast him. Okay, he's out of range. I've been pirated, bro. And that is a Corsair. And another guy. Damn. <laughs> Hurricane. They're not firing on us, which is interesting. They haven't said anything in chat though. Do you think somebody's trying to board us? Possibly. Think yeah, we need to get rid of that Mansa so we can get out. Okay, is he still quantum interdicting? No. Okay, I'm gonna start a spooling. Yeah, our QT system jammed. Really? Yeah, they're firing on us. Oh, uh, yeah, we're taking a lot of fire. We're not going to survive this to damage her. Yeah, that's ballistics on the... Um, we'll see. We'll see. Should we EVA? Yeah, we can. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, we're going to die. <laughs> Get out if you can. Cool. <laughs> This is now the story of two altruistic space environmentalist garbage disposal workers who face insurmountable odds in the pursuit of a cleaner and safer verse. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't, I've only got like 16 rounds of like ammo. I'm gonna go for him, f**k him. Yeah, I'm already, I'm EVA, but I don't have a track again. Nice cut, the dude. 
I killed one. <laughs> no, I'm right here by him with the demon. You might be thinking, what the hell are you actually doing, Void Dude? Stop d***ing around with your infantry while part one of the Salvage Wars rages on around you. To which I respond, handsome viewer, be quiet, my precious. I really like loot and a tractor tool would come in handy so I can sci-fi Spider-Man swing my way around to a higher chance of succeeding in this totally f***ed situation. I'm in the Corsair. Oh, I'm incapacitated on the Corsair. Oh. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, no! They killed me. You can possibly... I'm, like, I'm dying, though. Let me see what's happening. Yeah, there's definitely fire happening. I'm seeing outside. <laughs> like, if you can blow the ramp open, that's something. Or the airlock. <laughs> Me. Oh wait, Jerry, this is a guy right here. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nah. Up. What dedicated space environmentally unconscious pirates? Oh well, never mind. Oh no. Man, this is so cool, dude. This is what Stossin is about, bro. We're in a Drake Interplanetary Corsair now, and as you know, all good ships have a name. So I decided to call this one, Oh f**k, I've been irreparably damaged by a guy called Catnuts, and I can barely control this ship anymore. I wouldn't die. <laughs> Got away. However, against all odds, we managed to quantum back to the scene of the raging salvage wars. Regardless of the fact that this ship now handles like a drunk pony on an ice rink, I remain determined to keep the verse clean from harmful space debris. Using a series of complex maneuvers and advanced functions like the ship's decoupled mode, I managed to get within reasonable space walking range of our malicious enemies. Regular viewers will know that I'm the apex prodigy of a tactical genius, but I'm not sure if opening fire on that dangerous anvil hurricane was the smartest play. I'm not sure why the hurricane did not finish us off, but I get the distinct impression that these hard and professional pirates don't consider us much of a threat. If so, they would probably be correct, but who am I to judge their judgment of our capabilities or lack thereof? As it turns out, known magician, it's not fair, was able to return and provide some much needed distraction. Cool. One then, Fener. As I mentioned before, I am woefully underprepared for this situation, and I didn't want to waste time purchasing gear while our literal space trash was getting space pillaged with each passing moment. So the only weapons I have to my name is this arc light pew pew pistol and this tacky red arrowhead sniper rifle that Santa Chris Roberts left under all of our space Christmas trees over December last year. I'm sure this incredible advanced science fiction laser based weapon will come in handy in a clutch moment one day. Nice one, Chris. Miraculously, I discover Space Cutlet's P8SC gently floating in the void of space. Man, what a great start to part two of the epic space opera that is The Salvage Wars. Somehow my body's on there, Corsair. Did you kill Cornholio? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm just like keeping them busy while you sneak on, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on. There's no one on here. Should I try to get our Corsair, our Reclaimer Outings, and like sell? Yeah, if you can, yeah. With that, we have a clear goal in mind. Sell whatever remains of the salvage that we worked so hard to procure. It might not be holy grade A Jamtonian maze, but apparently there's a market in 3.18 for recycled composite material. Who knew? Man, what a smooth tactical entry. Voidivid's content is a representation of peak Star Citizen gameplay at its absolute best. Are they coming back for you? I'm on the reclaimer. Oh, just try and get out of there. Space Cutlet's on here with me. Oh, take him out, bro. I fell through the... The ladder ejects me from the one box wonder, and I'm left one box wondering what the actual f is going on. The Salvage Wars Part 2 is becoming one of those sci fi movies where the plot is pretty clear, but the way the characters make their way through the story becomes questionable and ultimately a little bit silly. Who wrote this bull? Only this To make matters worse, I have lost Space Cutlet's red P8SC. Man, how disappointing. I'm sure it would have come in handy so much more than the Christmas Arrowhead laser sniper rifle that Santa Chris Roberts gave us last year. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, I'm very hurt, so I'm gonna have to bounce. I hit this 
guy like five times. Oh, he's closing the ramp. No. I'm in. Depending on your perspective, it's really cool that after 10 years of development, Judicious Fisting remains one of the best ways to breach and board a hostile vessel. In the cockpit of the Corsair, and I know he's on the ship. Oh, just fly it out, dude, like into QD, like QT somewhere, and then just like. No, if, if I get in the pilot's chair, he'll kill me from behind. Oh, uh, Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Take yeah. his Corsair, steal his Corsair, bro. Thank you, bro. His buddy jumped on and killed me. Oh no. Oh. You did, dead. Yeah. Santa Chris Roberts, I don't want to come across as ungrateful. It was a nice gesture to give us all this tacky red arrowhead sniper rifle, but in my 69 years of high octane epic first person shooty shooty gaming, I have never used a more disappointing weapon. The Salvage Wars Part 2 was ruined because of this unimpressive feat of UEE military arms engineering, and definitely not because I forgot to go do some shopping. Part 3 of the Salvage Wars has finally made it to a YouTube theater near you, and we're not giving up and this time I'm going to uncharacteristically prepare once again and actually remember to do some shopping. I hate swiping my space credit card at the friendly Grimhex retail outlet and prefer to pay the iron price for my gear, but I guess for the ultimate conclusion to the Salvage Wars Part 3 I shouldn't spare any fake space money expense. We're then joined by known fish enthusiast Nerve Zar, who has arrived to help us reclaim our salvage. Hello. What's up Hello. dude? You're missing out on some shit. Space cutlets hitting you guys. Yep. You know what they say, save the salvage, save the verse. We're in an anvil arrow now, and as you know, all good ships have a name. So I decided to call this one Beep Beep Beep. We arrive at the scene of the salvage wars once again, and Nerve's been keeping these pro elite PvP dogfighter pirate anti-environmental terrorists busy while it's not fair, managed to reclaim the one box wonder. Three of them on me. <laughs> Just keep them busy. I don't have my joystick plugged in. Void dude, why in the absolute f did you not have your joystick plugged in? You are quite literally the most unprepared citizen of these unholy grim dark stars. Glorious viewer, calm down. I had to free up the USB port for my camera because everyone's favorite intergalactic salad ingredient was gracious enough to have me and a bunch of other highly professional star citizen content creators on his podcast. Definitely check out Space Tomato and Space Tomato 2, as well as Beard of Oz, Digital Master Gaming, and Certified Gumbo. Many links in the description. There's nothing a mouse and keyboard cannot accomplish that some other inferior peripheral can, so I attempt to engage and assist Nerve, but let's be honest, historically speaking, none of you handsome viewers should have high hopes for a positive outcome to this situation. Yeah, I'm completely out of decoys now. Oh, managed to drop that one. Okay, I got the red claim away. Nice. Let's go see how much they got off us. Just dropping so there's so many missiles after me. <laughs> Just try and bust like bounce away. <laughs> the missiles coming off me is amazing. I'm just dodging a gladius through <laughs> asteroid fields, it's quite sick. <laughs> this whole evening has just been the most ridiculous what the hell how like this is this is gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this missile is just floating around me. How do I get it off? Fly away hard. I've got so many missile warnings. Beep, 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 now has so many missile lock-ons, it finally manages to live up to its namesake, and somehow by the grace of Santa Chris Roberts, we managed to escape into Quantum. <laughs> we got GG's in chat from Alexandria and Space Cutler. So you got into a reclaimer and got out of there, right? Uh, I'm not quite following that. Yeah, so it was our, it was our reclaimer. And you like, managed to steer it boys. back. Corsair was busy loading off of the Andromeda that they were loading into, which I blew up. And then I was going to try and steal their Corsair, just because you stole our shit, we'll steal yours. <laughs> yeah. And then after you came in, they just obviously clearly decided to go f***ing... It's the whole f***ing hornet's nest, dude. The whole hornet's <laughs> nest, yeah. Okay. I don't know if we can get into the cargo section. Yeah, they're, they're saying that they cleared it out. Mother f***ers. Man, that was epic. Holy f***. 
It's only fair that It's Not Fair managed to get the one box wonder to safety and as I make my approach I scan the ship to see how many SCU boxes of RMC remain after being ruthlessly pillaged by Space Cutlet and his crew of environmentally unconscious cutthroats. 11, no, one. <laughs> one, one. RMC. <laughs> Let's go silent, bro. And with that, the dramatic climax of The Salvage Wars Part 3 has come to an end, and the moral of the story is that one box of salvaged RMC in the cargo hold that gets sold to the admin guide Grimhex is worth over 20 boxes of salvaged RMC in the space environment bush that's been viciously procured by dangerous space pirates or something. I don't know, no one actually says shit like this. Thank you channel patreons for all your support, it genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game, then use one of the referral codes on on screen now for a free 5,000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter if you're so inclined. I go through uncontrollable bouts of tweetage now and then and love interacting with Star Citizen people there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers. That was pretty f***ing epic though.